All right, so Founders, of course, a big name all over the country, but here in West Michigan, it is even bigger. The Grand Rapids Brewery is launching a new brew, and Jeremy is here to tell us all about it. Jeremy, thanks for joining us today. Okay, so this has some coffee in it, so you got my attention right there. That's right. Tell so, me about it. Well, this is the fourth uh, installment in our Barrel Age series, and it's kind of based on a, on a beer that we released earlier called Sumatra Mountain Brown. And what we did, that's an imperial brown ale aged in, or uh, brewed with Sumatra coffee. This okay. particular version is aged in bourbon barrels. So. Bourbon, okay, so that's what makes it different there. That's right. Okay, so how did you guys come up with this then? Well, this was a, uh, you know, I thought the coffee would pair well with the, with the dark malts of a brown ale. Yeah. And then uh, uh, putting it in a, in a bourbon barrel seemed like a no-brainer. We, we do that a lot with a lot of our beers just for trial and error, and this was one that worked out pretty well. What, what is it with coffee that, you know, um, doing a coffee taste, putting coffee in beer that uh, a lot of people seem to really like? I think it's the, it's the roastedness of the malts and the coffee kind of, uh, they go together. They have a lot of similar uh, yeah. characteristics. So. All right, and you guys are working together with another local company, right? Yeah, that's happen? right, yeah. Uh, Ferris Coffee does all of our uh, coffee uh, roasting, and uh, they, they're doing a great job for us. Tell us a little bit more about the partnership with them. Uh, we've been working with them a long time, actually. They've, uh, you know, they're right downtown. They're they're very good at what they do. They know a lot about flavor, and they've, they've I'm not a coffee expert, so yeah. I rely on them a lot to kind of help me work through ideas. I was about to say, I, I believe, um, Aaron over there, he's one of our coffee experts. He probably should, you know, try this out. Maybe yeah, he can team up with you sure. guys. Uh, you were talking about, uh, Jeremy, the, the barrel age series. Can you kind of go over that again for folks, uh, like myself actually, and folks at home who are not familiar with the barrel age series? Sure. So uh, throughout the year, we re release limited um, uh, batches of, of special barrel aged beers like KBS, like uh, Backwoods Bastard, which is actually available year round. Uh, we had uh, Masagave, a tequila barrel aged beer, previously this summer, and this, mm -hmm. is, uh, this is number four for the year. All right, this is awesome. Very much looking forward to this. So I guess the question is, what's next for Founders? Well, we're just going to keep uh, we keep doing what we're doing. We're, you know, coming into the, the winter months, and we've got um, some more barrel-aged beers for the end of the year. And, um, yeah, we're just having a good time. Awesome. And, and where, where can folks get these then? Can we get them at... Uh, at uh, any of the founders, so I guess, in town, and then also you, I like the different sizes that people can get. That's Where right. So, yep, uh, four packs, uh, big bottles if that's your thing. It'll mm -hmm. also be on draft. We're releasing it in our tap room this Friday. Wonderful. And uh, it's been shipped out, so you'll start seeing it on shelves everywhere soon. Looking forward to it. Jeremy, thank you so much. Thanks, really Kristen. appreciate it. Love finding out some new information <laughs> and everything that's going on at Founders. And of course, we have right. some more information up on this as well, up on our website. Just head to 13onyourside.com.